You could call this a secret spot, but it's not. That's a giveaway. Anybody who's ever been here or surfs and lives in Cape Town knows exactly where we are. I'm not gonna say it, but we're here. We're on a surf trip, business trip, escape. And it's time to go sit on the beach, drink tequila, and think about our next step. More about that now. Why are we here? Because we're, we're solving a problem the world has. It just doesn't know it has it yet. One bottle of tequila and one free bag of ice. Terms and conditions did apply. <laughs> Alright, right over there. Jose Cuevo! We get one bag of ice if we buy a bottle of tequila. What's the scorpion? What's that? Put a scorpion on your hand when you drink the shot. <laughs> so, Two glasses for 10 rand. Terms and conditions apply, all because there's no surf. We've come up this evening to talk some. Let's say business, but we also, we're talking life. And today's life is, we drove all this way for surf. There is no surf, so it's now tequila and chicken time. So any advice for solving problems in life? Yeah, just do it. Don't listen to other people is my first and foremost. If somebody else says to you, no, you can't do that, and this is the reason why, if they don't have any experience in that field, do not listen to them. Do what you feel is right, try it and see if you can make it work. But that's the most important thing. There's too many people in the world right now that are telling you that you should live your dreams and that you should quit your job and follow what you want to do. And There's no point in telling somebody what they should do if you can't back it up with how. And I think there's a severe lack of people telling people how to do things in life. The caterer has arrived. Yeah, who determines when you're meant to work? Some guy in Prussia decided in the 1800s that you were gonna go work between eight and five every single day for 40 hours a week. And he set that world up for you to live in and the Americans took it on and it spread around the world. Changed the game. We're changing the game. It's a Wednesday. We're on the beach, choose your life. Don't let somebody else choose your life for you. That's the important part. So and cheers to another beach board meeting. We didn't get in the surf, but we did solve another problem but on our business path. We moved one more degree, solve another problem and Cheers to that, happy sunset, looking forward to another day. I think it's pretty damn important to just get away sometimes because it, it resets your mind and makes you think slightly differently and, and you don't harp on the same thoughts, especially when you're trying to develop new ideas and look for your own errors. You know, I think like when you're analyzing yourself, it can be the hardest thing to, to pick up where you're going wrong if you're sitting in the same space because your mind starts thinking in the same way. And to change that up, you've got to change your environment. You've got to change the people that you're around too sometimes. And hey, if you get stuck, add some tequila and some beach and some sunset into the mix. Works for me. Oh, yes. I bought the wrong gas can. It screws it. No coffee. I'm not sure I can do anything until coffee is solved. There's a stove inside, but let's go try that. Shh. 
Don't tell anybody that there's waves. And now I can't tell you where we are, because it looks flipping good. So I do need coffee first, because I think I might drown if I don't have it, but some waves out there. the right choice coming here last night. Yeah, good call. It wouldn't be authentic if you made the coffee in the kitchen so we came outside. Breakfast of champions. Cooking! surf was absolutely amazing. It was, there were only a handful of people in the water. The water was warm, the wind was right, the waves were good, everything was perfect. It's time for office for the day! Dun 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 Hashtag. So let's, let's go find a spot, let's go get some coffee. Because the wind has come up, the surf's gone a little mushy, so it's perfect time to, to go do some work. To the South African winter. It's hot. It's currently 31 degrees and it is somewhere in the middle of May. You want coffee in this weather? Yes. Can oh, you help me? Coffee flavored ice cream. I'd like a cappuccino. Daisy Lane. Daisy oh. Lane. No diving in the cactus bush. <laughs> mm. Copenhagen. Copenhagen. You been there? <laughs> I used to live there. <laughs> Interesting fact about Copenhagen is that a lot of the architecture is still there from the early 1900s because the place didn't get bombed in the war. I say it's older than the nine, but it survived the 1900s. It survived. Uh, There's some the good war. buildings that made it. These guys shot a lot of architecture. Pick your interest. Yeah, I think that's the point here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the point. So the video that you're making is about something that you're interested in, which is clearly in this case history and architecture. Country of love and happiness. What was Copenhagen, it? Copenhagen, Denmark. A that's a happy of... video. It is actually happy music, happy video. It's pretty good. Okay, let's cut to the <laughs> chase again. Okay, 
<laughs> Copenhagen. That's I think the point that we'll make today about this video using this as an our, our example is that when you go to a, a place usually there's one specific interest that is the highlight of the reason you're going there. Now whether it's architecture or food you, you need to pick a style of video that suits that that activity that you're that you're going to see. Whoa! I can just move the table. <laughs> so in this case it's it's a very sort of slow there were some nice swish pans with like a, a movement around which is great because it gets gets to see the whole scenery because it was very much sightseeing and architecture based so it was a a nice moving edit but at the same time it, it gave the space to see the the scenery which is slow enough yeah so it wasn't a good so balance it wasn't an emotion video it was more about it was definitely a sightseeing type of video but a good video well and, well made and the the creators um, included themselves I think just enough to say I was here this is my experience but it's not just about me this is what I'm going to yeah, see yeah they shared their experience with us yeah. so that's what they did good video well done guys so it's definitely time to get back in the water let's go back to some b-roll <laughs> the office for the day. Well, living the dream is, is not easy. It's a full-time job and, and you've got to hustle to make dreams come true. You just need to quit your job and live your dream. If you don't tell somebody how to do it, and they just go and do that, they can ruin their entire life. You have to prepare for it, you have to plan for it, and, and ultimately set goals that can let you live your dream. It's not just a matter of uh, quitting your job. If it was that easy, we would all do it and we'd all be successful. Most people that use that kind of um, saying of like, oh, I just quit my job and here I am, they're the exception. But anybody who sets goals and follows them systematically, step by step, has the ability to, to reach some form of, of dream level lifestyle. You know, we spent two and a half years working hard to get to the point where we can do this. Somebody would say to you, so, you know, you're not serious about the business that you're starting because you're at the beach. I think nobody actually understands that it doesn't matter which hour of the day you put in as long as you're putting in the work. And sometimes, and it's, this is a pretty cool saying that I, somebody else actually posted, and I've lost it. <laughs> Staying constantly sharpened can wear out the blade. It's an old famous saying, I think it's by the guy that wrote the book on the art of war, which is really about business. And the point is, is sometimes if you are so close to what's going on, you actually can be counterproductive to what you're trying to, trying to achieve. So Dean and I, we, we literally need to get out of the office and go think about what the next moves are because our next moves are, are gonna be 24 seven. We're gonna be working so hard. We're not gonna get a break and we needed to make sure we're on the right track. So we literally decided to head up the west coast of South Africa, grab a surf, turned out to be an epic day. Even though it's a Thursday, it, it really doesn't matter what day it is. Don't listen to other people when they say that you must fit into their world and the things that they do. Because it doesn't work like that. It just really doesn't work like that. Trust yourself, work hard, hustle like hell, but it doesn't mean it has to be a nine to five job. So in the light of that, I also want to not just tell you what to do, but I also want to show you how to do it and maybe give you an example of that. Today's video is a laid back, we're talking about living the dream, having a lifestyle where you can chill out on the beach, go surfing and make anywhere your office. So for me to make this video about that lifestyle, I can choose to do something like use like a reggae-ish track and use cutaways to the birds and the sand and the shells and, and that way I'm I'm supporting the story of my video with the style of editing, the style of music, and just generally the whole production feel. So take this video as an example of what we mean 
with the Copenhagen video. I think that's a perfect example of a very happy sort of check out the city sightseeing video, especially when the focus is on architecture because they used a lot of the right kind of panning shots and, and slow shots even though the pace of the edit was really good. Be yourself, that's what I'm saying, be yourself. Oh, it's faster to walk. We can't tell you exactly how you make your dreams come true, but what we can do is show you how to make a cool travel video.